I was doing a story about right whales for National Geographic magazine. I had an absolutely off-the-scale magical experience with a population of southern right whales that we found in the sub-Antarctic of New Zealand. This was a population that had only been discovered about 10 years before. And it was very risky. I didn't know what we would find. It was a very speculative kind of trip. These were animals that had never seen a human being before. I was the first person to ever encounter these whales. And now I'm in the water alone with these animals. And sure enough, they're interacting. They're coming over to me. They're checking me out. They're bumping me. You know, they're so curious. What is this thing? They're looking at me with this soulful eye. I mean, I don't want to over-dramatize it, but that's what it was. You know, this animal is looking at you, and you know they're thinking, and they're trying to figure out what you are. And then one day, I decided to ask my assistant to come in the water, Mauricio, who I had previous to this asked not to get in the water because I thought that too many people might spook the whales. But as if on cue, we got down to the bottom and this giant whale just swam over to us and stayed with us for about two and a half hours. And you know, there was a moment where we were swimming over the bottom and I was just shooting and shooting. Eventually, I just got so tired, I, I had to stop. I you know, probably had 100 pounds of equipment on my body. So I finally knelt down and just waited and caught my breath, thinking the whale was just going to swim by and leave me, leave me in its wake. But it stopped. The whale stopped and turned and came back and just waited. It, it looked at me with that giant eye as if to say, yeah, I'll wait for you, you know, you can catch your breath. And then as I sort of got my wind back and started swimming, we, off we went again, you know, it was you know, a dream come true for me and an opportunity to experience and photograph something that few people probably ever have and maybe ever will.